So yeah, keep in mind, guys, I had um, 30 minutes with the game. And they set up a timer right in front of me and Neon K. I was playing with Neon K. So yeah, there was no way of playing more. It was versus mode, not practice mode. So in terms of frames and how certain moves have changed, um, thanks to some friends, I know a little bit more now, but yeah, I don't know the, the exact frames, obviously, because there is no, no frame data, no practice mode. So yeah, it was 30 minutes. I played against Neon K, against June and Nina, I think, in the end. Um, but I had, I had my, my list ready, so I, I know what to go for. And I'm gonna start with the good things, things you already know. Things like, um, yeah, sidestep 4. Thankfully, still a counter hit launcher. That's still in the game. Same goes for 4-3. Um, for still in the game, still a counter hit launcher. Yeah, the next one I was worried because no one, we had no information about AOP down 1 plus 2. But yeah, it is in the game. We still have that launcher as well. So it's Firecracker 1 down 2. AOP down 1 plus 2, I mean. Still in the game, which is great. Because I like to use it a lot. Yeah, and then I checked for some strings we know from this game, like... Um, obviously, um, Raindance 1-4 is not in the game anymore. So that one got deleted. Now we have Raindance 1, 2. And 2 is our um, tail flip tornado move in, in combos. Like the new screw. And it's a mid this time, so there's no way of ducking anymore after Raindance 1. But yeah, apparently it's, it's minus. Should be around, I think, minus 12 or 13. Raindance 1 2 and Raindance 1 4 is gone. Yeah, it is, it is punishable. It's gonna be around minus 12 or 13. Yeah, I have to thank um, Hinorus and Chicken Chakra because after I was done, um, they played um, Xiaoyu as well and I gave them some things to test, and that was one of these things. And they told me it's minus 12 or 13. Raindance 1, 2. Thank you so much, Red Eye Wookie. Thank you for tuning in. See you next time. Is it delayable? I don't think so. Yeah, back turned 1, 4. Rest in peace. That's gone. I don't know if this alone is still a counter at launcher that I didn't check. I don't know about that. But yeah, it should be minus 12 or 13 at max. Raindance 1, 2. Um, what I also did, and that wasn't on purpose, I was just we were just playing for a couple of rounds. I actually did the AOP um, up forward on block, holding back into Sabaki. It worked. So the Sabaki is still in the game, still launching, that was kind of funny because I didn't even try to land it, but I guess Neon, Neon pressed there at the right time. So Sabaki is still in the game. And also um, in Rain Dance, you can still go for uh, the instant while standing, so you can turn around by pressing up forward forward, that still works. So this is gonna work in the next game as well. Instant was standing. I had troubles doing it um, with a PS5 pad, to be honest. Uh, I have to get used to the PS5 pad. But it's still in the game, thankfully.
Okay, the next one is... <sighs> the next one is crazy. I had to, to test it three times because I couldn't believe it. So... I think we saw it in the, in the trailer already, but we had no confirmation. Now we can confirm forward forward one into AOP. It's not only gonna gonna force crouch in the next game. It will give you a free AOP 2-1. This is gonna be guaranteed guys. Forward forward one AOP AOP 2-1. Not on counter hit. Normal hit. Not on counter hit. It's actually insane. Always, always on hit. It's insane because AOP 2-1 is Xiaoyu's heat engager. So that means... I mean, as I said before, I don't think we have a real 50-50 right now, but... I can... We can actually do Fault Fault 1, AOP 2-1 and Xiaoyu is gonna... Heat dash into the opponent and they will have to guess what comes next. So, super scary. I don't know if they will change it. I mean, it's way too soon to tell, but... I was very surprised. I didn't check that on purpose, obviously. I just saw in the trailer that there was some, some weird animation, forcing crouch and stuff. So, yeah, I wanted to... To check um, forward forward one down and it actually gives you AOP 2-1 into heat. And that's very good. Very strong. I mean, if this is guaranteed, who knows what else we could do in, in AOP, we'll see. And yeah, just to say it again, it's not on counter hit, it's gonna be on normal hit. At least in the in the alpha version. How safe is it though? I mean four fought one down. Plus six. Wait, let's actually check. Isn't it minus eleven without the OP? Yeah, I don't think they have changed that. For me it it, it felt even faster in the in Tekken 8. Minus 5 on block. So yeah, that's actually insane. Yeah, exactly. Sequel. I can even... I mean, I can cancel AOP as well. So... Very, very strong buff. Okay, what's next? Yeah, the, the Hypnotist transitions. We have... Um, one down two, I think you have to, to hold back. One down two into Hypnotist. Really fast, you can do the new Hypnotist free low, the mid. I really like the this new transition. I think it's gonna be quite useful. Yeah, as for forward two one into Hypnotist, yeah, I think only as a, as a combo ender into Hypnotist two. We saw it in a trailer, it's gonna work in combos, but yeah, other than that, I don't really like this. I like it as a whiff punish because it's natural, these two hits, but yeah, it's still a high, the second hit, so it's okay. But one down two into Hypnotist is actually really fun to use. Okay, the next one was, that was an important one for me. Uh, 1 plus 2. Is the pickup gonna work in the next game with 4 4 3 into combo? Because as we know, um, down 3 4, I mean, there is no screw anymore in, in Tekken 8. So, yeah, I tested um, the 1 plus 2 combo and thankfully it works. We have a different combo route now, but it's, it's still possible. So, for the next game, it's gonna be. Um, 1 plus 2, forward, forward, 3. And then we have to go for Rain Dance down, back, 4. To pick up the opponent.
And to get this new tail flip tornado screw, we have to do um, forward 3, 1, and then 4. So that's gonna be the new combo. Forward 3, 1, 4. So. Wait, let me tell Paul. For the next game, it's gonna be. I mean, it's, it's hard to do in Tekken 7 because you have to dash in. Yeah, exactly. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm dropping every combo. And then four. And then you can you can dash in and go for forward two one four or maybe the new ender or maybe the hypnotist stuff. But that's gonna be the combo and it's yeah the handstand ender right? exactly. But it's it's much easier to land the combo than it is in Tekken 7. It was very consistent. I mean after you get the fourth fourth free pickup obviously. Yeah, but this one, I don't think it ever whiffed in Tekken 8. The rain dance down back 4. Damn, I'm not even able to do this right now. Yeah, but this, it still works. This is thing of the past. As I said, down 3 4, there is no screw anymore. Yeah, exactly, Jank Bang. Forward 2 1, 1 plus 2 should work as well, I think. Is the forward 4 3 pickup easy to do? No. Still not easy. Just like in this game. Yeah, definitely not easy in Tekken 7. So, 1 plus 2 combos, still in the game. Low parry combos, I did as well. But more on that later. Um, standing 3, standing 3 combos, still in the game. And it's the same thing as for um, 1 plus 2 and forward 4. So the combos still work. Forward 4 is in the game, standing 3 is in the game, and the combo is the same. We have to work with down back 4. I mean, we can, I guess we can do um, down back 2 as well, into down back 4, and then just forward 3, 1, 4. I was afraid that they deleted the, the combos after these moves, but they are still in the game, which is great. So this is going to be the new route, forward 3, 1 and then 4. But I guess it's going to be even more. That's definitely not the, the only one. 3, up, back, 3. 3, up, back, 3. Hmm, I don't know if that's gonna work. I didn't I didn't check that. So yeah, we have the, the 1 plus 2 combos in the game, standing 3 is in the game, forward 4 combos still in the game. Okay, and the next thing is yeah, the, the, our 1 plus 2 combo, a throw I mean, down forward 1 plus 2, now it's back 1 plus 2, because down forward 1 plus 2 is uh, rage art. Yeah, it might be a little bit less damage, but more wall carry. So back 1 plus 2 is going to be the 1 plus 2 combo. And waning moon... I wasn't able to, to find the input, 
while testing, but um, Kira Kira told me, Chicken Chakra told me as well. Um, I think it's it should be um, back turn forward two plus three. Exactly, yeah, Chang Bang. But it's only one forward. It's not the the hop and throw double forward. It's only one forward, and then it's forward two plus three. And she's gonna do the hop and, hop and throw animation into the new throw. I didn't know while testing, so I couldn't I couldn't go for the for the combo maybe after it. So I don't know if there's anything like if we get a real combo. But yeah, so we we will have the hop and throws in the next game from back turn and also the waning moon a two break. So for for setups and Oki stuff, as I said, I couldn't test um, things at the wall. But what I had to test is the the jump over stuff. So this up for one plus two still in the game. So yeah, I told Neon K to just tech roll there and I tried to do it, to jump over. And it works in Tekken 8. So that's still a thing you can go for. Jump over, up forward, 1 plus 2 into Rain and 4. Still in the next game. Yeah, the back turn combos. Yeah, that's what I mean. She's she's lacking damage in my opinion, a little bit. She's not she's not up there compared to the rest. I would say at least. So up for one plus two, still in the game. We can jump over after flipping the opponent. We can also do um, I couldn't check for for any wall things like jump overs or tech roll, tech roll right, tech roll left. Couldn't do anything um, with the walls because I, I think I've only reached the wall once, and that's that's it. So for setups, I only really tested a four one plus two. Yeah, that's the thing, up back 3 is like... So, um, I mean, we are talking about up back 3 now. Up back 3... Um, up back 3 plus 4, this is gone. It's not in Tekken 8 right now. It got changed to um, up back 3 and up back 3, the flip, it always... it's it's much faster but it always recovers in AOP. I didn't find a way to, to cancel AOP or stuff. It, it's always in AOP. And so, um, I mean I tested it on Neon K, he blocked the up back free and that's like a guaranteed free launch because it recovers in AOP and it's, I guess it's, it's very minus. Um, does up free launch on normal? I don't think so. I don't think it was a normal hit. But I, I didn't know that it always recovers in, in AOP. I think I did it around 5 to 10 times. I didn't find a way to, to cancel it. So yeah, I, Neon K launched me every time. So I guess that's only a move in, in combos for tail flipping, doing the tornado screw, the new one. Only for combos, I guess. Up back free.
Yeah, no block block punishment with, with upper three. It's not worth it. Way too risky. And I didn't even have time to like, I don't know, um, rolling away or something. So that's a little bit disappointing. Up back free, I don't think it's gonna be very, very useful in my opinion. Um, what else? Yeah, the, the counter hit down back free. So as I said, I wasn't able to, to, to check frames. Um, but yeah, counter hit down back free into back four one is guaranteed. Back 4-4 four, four is not in the game anymore. Which is good, I think, because that is not a, a good move for Ling. But we have back 4-1 now. And... Down back 3 counter hit gives a free back 4-1. Yeah, and I think it's gonna it's gonna wall split. As I said, uh, there was no wall to test, unfortunately, so I couldn't test at the wall. And at the beginning of rounds, obviously you have your your heat gauge, so every time I did back for one on hit, I mean it's it's always a heat engager until you don't have heat anymore. So I couldn't decide to not do the, the heat engager. So every time on hit she dashed in and it was the 50-50 the situation. But yeah, back back for one. I guess it's gonna be the the 13 frame punisher. And it's gonna be around minus 12 or 13. Yeah, same goes for ARP21, exactly. Apparently to not heat and get you hold back. Honestly, that would be great. I didn't I didn't know about that, so I didn't check. How big are the maps? Oh, it's it's hard to say. Um, I mean, there isn't. Is there a very big stage in this game? Like maybe Violet Systems. Violet Systems. Systems two, three times. Do we still have four, four, three plus four and back turn? Yes, they are still in the game. So yeah, about heat engages. I mean, if it's if it's possible to to cancel, to not use the heat engager way. That would be great, but I don't know about that. What's next? Oh yeah. We talked about up back three. Um, it replaced up back um, three plus four. And I would only use it, um, I mean, after magic four, I guess it's guaranteed. Maybe it works after selling three. I don't think so though, but it's only for starting combos, I guess. What they changed though, and I was very surprised about that, is um, this. This is still in the game. You can still do the AOP up forward neutral free flip, but AOP 1 2, when it hits the, the back of the opponent, the second hit is gonna push them away. They're gonna drop to the ground, and there is no way of um, doing the rain and spore stuff anymore. So this is gone. AOP 1, 2 is not gonna give you, give you rain and spore. I mean, so this combo route is gone, but you can do a, a different one. 
I think you can still go for for things like this. You can still go for um, up forward free to do something else. But yeah, the second hit, if it's the back of the opponent, the second hit of AOP 1-2. They will drop to the ground. Yeah, maybe, maybe even down two. Yeah, exactly. It's possible about holding back to cancel heat dash. In combo, I did heat burst after screw, then down back one. But she didn't do the dash after. I wonder why they didn't um, give us this kind of information. I think that that's really important to know. Like they are listing all these heat engages for all the characters, but not telling us that there is a way of not doing it with heat. Rain and one two natural combo I couldn't check unfortunately. Couldn't check. I mean but I guess it's it's true then. So I guess we can use the like things like down back one without using it as a heat engager. And down back four one. Yeah I should ask some other players as well, maybe some people already did it. So yeah, um, AOP up forward, the flip, the flip into um, AOP 1-2, rain is 4, is gone, so we will do different combos now. I think it's gonna be less damage overall, but it's not too bad, so it's, it's okay. What's next? Yeah, same thing goes for... Hypnotist, three steps, two. That's one of the things I wanted to, to test immediately. That doesn't work anymore. Like in the in the open field. I couldn't do it. Because the, the pushback is much bigger than it is in this game. Like, June got pushed away so far that I, I couldn't connect anything. So there's not gonna be a... Like, in the in the open field I will not do guaranteed launches anymore. So maybe closer to the wall, but as I said... I don't know how many times we, we will reach the wall in, in a game. Yeah, so that one kinda hurt. Three steps into launcher is gone. But um, we have to keep in mind um, apparently, uh, when Xiaoyu is in heat, down back two, um, I mean, Hypnotist two and Hypnotist three, the low, um, they will have like in enhanced versions, powered up versions, and we don't know what that means. So maybe in heat it's gonna be less pushback and we can launch. I couldn't, I couldn't check. Yeah, chip, chip damage move, Hypnotist 2. And also, um, Hypnotist 2 seems to be a heat engager as well. Which is kind of weird, but it's a heat engager. And during heat, Hypnotist 2 and 3, I don't know what, but apparently something changes about, about the move. Maybe after a couple of steps, we will get the, the, the launcher back, I don't know. But yeah, without heat, this is gone. This is not going to work anymore. So 
So that's gone as well. I tried to... I think in the trailer she uses it against Nina, the 3 plus 4 parry. At least I think it's it's 3 plus 4, but I'm, I'm not sure. I tried to land it on, on June. I couldn't do it a single time because I wanted to know if there's guaranteed follow-ups. Because in the in the Xiaoyu trailer she's doing um, Hypnotist 4 right after it. And it, it looked very fast, but yeah, I don't know, I wanted to check. I couldn't do it even once, I don't know. I told Neon K to mash with June. Somehow it didn't work. So I couldn't test 3 plus 4, the parry. Which are the good news? Yeah, I mean, fought, fought, one down, that's, that's I guess, the good news. That's the craziest thing I, th I think right now. The guaranteed AOP 2 1. Yeah, so the 3 plus 4 parry, I don't know about that. We still need to check. Um, for the minus frames, I think um, Heinerus and Chicken Chakra, um, I think they tested Rain Dance 1 2. Also, um, Back for one. Both of them seem to be around minus 12 or 13. And also, um, I asked Chicken Chakra to test um, standing free on block. If it's more minus, maybe. And unfortunately, I'm afraid I have to tell you it's more minus now. If it's true. So Chicken Chakra told me it's it's at least minus 12 now, maybe even 13, standing free. So it's not minus 11 anymore. They will get a, a bigger punish for standing free on block. And I don't like that at all, to be honest. I mean, yeah, it's a 13 frame launch and it's great and stuff, but it's... The range is not the best, it's still a high, I don't know. It's it's hard to land that, in my opinion, the standing free in, in matches. You have to be up close all the time. And now it's gonna be... It's gonna be more minus, I guess. Jet Apple will still be safe, we'll see, we'll see what's gonna happen. What's gonna happen to Brian? So yeah, um, Rain Dance 1, 2, minus 12, minus 13 at max. Back for 1, minus 12, minus 13 at max, I think. And apparently standing 3 is gonna be minus 12 or minus 13. Which is not great. Okay, what else do we have? Yeah, also... Um, I wasn't sure after doing it, but, but then um, Heineros told me he tried the same thing and it didn't work on his side as well. Apparently you cannot do... Um, the Cali roll launcher into this um, up for four jump. This does not work anymore. Cali roll into Cali roll should work, but that route was more damaging. But that, yeah, I I thought I was too late, but. Apparently, I wasn't too late. It's maybe maybe it's more minus now. Cali roll, I don't know, but I, I couldn't connect the the up forward four jump after the Cali roll launch. So I guess that's gone. I think there is a footage of of Xiaoyu playing against King, and Xiaoyu went actually for the Cali roll launch into into this, and it whiffed. 
Yeah, now I tried it as well. Hyneros tried it too. It whiffed every time, so I guess... They changed something there, it doesn't work anymore. Which is... I mean, it's not too bad, we have different combo routes now. I think we will be fine still. AOP still feels very evasive, yes. Yeah, exactly, it's gonna be... Um, no, my advice is not to change mains. I think it's just gonna be... I don't want to say more difficult to to play Xiaoyu, but... I guess they change a, a lot of frames of, of certain moves. Okay, let me go through the list. Yeah, we have the 1 plus 2 combos, standing 3 combos, forward 4 combos, back for 1, waning moon, um, Hypnotist free the new low, only seems to be launch punishable after 3 steps. Um, I think, I'm not sure, but it should knock down on, I think on two steps, and if it's clean hit, I don't know if one step also works. But it's not gonna be launch punishable after one or two steps. Only uh, um, after three, I think. So that's not too bad. Then you low. Um, we already know Rain Dance down 4 is a natural hit launcher now. We don't need the, the camper hit. Can you still do down 3 during... Yeah, of course. We can still go for all the other moves during Hypnotist as well. So, down 3, I think, should work as well. Can you enter in heat while in combo? I, I didn't, I didn't test that, but it's an interesting question. Like, the, the heat engagers Xiaoyu has is, they are down back 1. AOP 2-1, we have back 4-1, Hypnotist 2. Also, I tried the, the new um, back turn string. She's gonna have um, 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2, 4, um, out of Rain Dance, and the 4 looks like the second hit of down 3-4. So it's this second kick. It's gonna be 1 plus 2, and the second second kick. I guess it's still a high, but it's a heat engager. So I didn't check, but I hope after um, one plus two on hit, the uh, the four is gonna be um, guaranteed, and then it's gonna be um, heat dash into mix up as well, um, which means out of every stance right now, hypnotist two, rain dance. 1 plus 2, 4, and AOP 2, 1. We will have um, heat engagers in, in every single stance. Which is not bad. I think we can, we can work with that. Um, for combos, I try to... See if, if combos, how combos work in general. I think, yeah, things like um, down forward to one, back to two, rain dance one into rain dance one. And then rain dance one, two, the, the tail flip move, the tornado. This is gonna work. Also, of course, um, Oh wait, maybe it's only one rain dance one actually. I think I said it wrong earlier. It's down 
down forward to one back to two one and then yeah then one two that's how it's gonna be and then we can end the combo with um forward two one one plus two or forward two one four or the new ender forward three one four so it's similar to to tekken seven and then one two it's gonna flip and the combo ender okay let me check if there's more we have the sabaki forward forward one hypnotist sides the four counter hit launch four free Um, you will not be able to to bind the L3 and R3 buttons anymore. I don't know why they changed that, but right now there is no option to do it. I I'm using these these buttons, but yeah, I guess it's it's okay. I'm gonna find different buttons, I guess. I think that's that's about it for now.